Freedom Finance asked me to review their trading platform called Freedom24. And since it's something I've never really done before, I thought it could be fun to do. So let's go. Hi, I'm Marta. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, there are two important things that will shape my views in this video. Number one, I'm a designer, so I will definitely look at the platform and point out any flaws in user journey. So how easy and intuitive it is to perform tasks on the platform, how pretty everything is and so on. The next thing is the fact that I'm a long-term investor, not a trader. This means I'm not really too bothered about fancy graphs, tools that day traders use and access to very detailed information about various financial instruments and so on. So if you're looking for a review that focuses on exactly that, it won't be mine. With all this in mind, let's take a look at Freedom24 and see what it's all about. So this is what is coming up next in my Freedom24 review for 2021. I'll talk about Freedom24, who they are, I'll then do a walk through an account so that we can see what it looks like from the inside. And then I'll show you how to invest on this platform. So I'll buy some shares and some funds so that we can see how it's done. And finally, I will talk about pros and cons of the platform. And I will also mention its current offers. So who are Freedom24? It's a trading platform that belongs to Freedom Finance Europe, a company funded in 2008 in Moscow, Russia. They now have 140,000 live accounts, operate in seven countries and give its clients access to the world's largest stock exchanges. Interestingly, it's the only European broker listed on Nasdaq. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Nasdaq, it's a global electronic marketplace for buying and trading securities and where many of the world's technology giants, including companies like Apple and Facebook, are listed. It's based in New York City. I will be looking at Freedom24 desktop version, but it does have mobile apps for iOS, Android and Huawei. Let's take a walk through Freedom24. So this is what the page looks like when you're not registered. It's a very clean design, nicely laid out. We can see that Freedom24 is focused on investments for everyone. You can invest in stocks, ETFs and bonds. You can participate in IPOs and multiply your savings in the D account. And I will speak about these in a second. Once you start using Freedom24, you will see that they often state how long it will take you to perform certain tasks. So here you can see that to open a brokerage account takes 10 minutes. The company clearly wants to give you a gentle push from a state of procrastination to a oh wait. It only takes a few minutes, which is great for anybody who's been putting off investing. Initial public offerings are a big part of Freedom24. Their average profit is 64% for three months and their selection of IPOs is rigorous, so that you only invest in the most promising ones. If you're wondering what the big deal is here, participating in IPOs used to be a big player's game only because of the amount of money needed to be allowed to do it. Freedom24 lowered the entry threshold to $2,000, which is much more achievable for average investors. What we see next is the multitude of financial instruments Freedom24 allows you to invest in. And then the account, I think this is one of their unique selling points. It's created automatically once you've opened your main trading account. And it's essentially a savings account with a 3% annual yield on a minimum balance of $120. Why this match? Because this is the minimum amount needed to generate a daily interest from a currency swap. Basically, the money you keep in your D account is invested daily in currency swap transactions. Let's say that your first transaction is on Monday, exchange of dollars into euros, and then the second transaction is on Tuesday, so exchange of euros into dollars. The profit from the second trade is the income paid to the D account. 
So that's some free money. But if you'd like more, Freedom24 has a very generous affiliate program. I won't mention the details. You can find out on your own once you've opened an account, are happy and want to spread the word about it. And finally, at the bottom of the page, you can see the security promise. Freedom24 is regulated by supervisory authorities in Germany, Cyprus and North America. When you sign up, your identity will need to be verified, most probably with your passport. You will need to link your bank account to the platform. And of course, you will need a username and a password before you can start investing. So let's sign in now. This is a demo account made for the purpose of this video. So it's not verified. As you can see on top, we have our top navigation, IPO, web terminal, invest ideas, FAQ, news and language choice dropdown. Let's start with IPOs. This is a nicely designed dashboard. Everything in its right place as Radiohead would sing. On top, you have all your IPOs, profit in green, unrealized profit in gray. Next to it, you have the number of investments, profitable in green and not profitable in red. The circle next to it will show you this in a nice visual way when you do have IPOs. Then something called IPO rating. If you're familiar with a credit score, then you can imagine that this rating is a very similar concept. The higher your rating, the more privileges you get as an IPO investor. It's based on your trading activity in the last three months. Underneath, you have IPO applications and locked IPO trades. In other words, a sort of pending orders and your trading history. All pretty straightforward and easy to navigate. When you scroll down, you get a list of featured current, upcoming and past IPOs with all the necessary information. Of course, you're invited to see all of them in case you want to find something different to what you see here using those show more and show all links. And if you're totally new to trading IPOs, there's a great step-by-step -step kind of timeline at the bottom of this page, written without any jargon, very user-friendly for you to follow. The next page on the navigation is the web terminal. Let's see what it looks like. Now you can see that I have no investments here. So this is a very empty looking terminal. Let's go through its structure now. On top, you have four main stock exchanges and you can easily switch between them. Now you're in Russia, now in North America, Europe, and now in Hong Kong. You can switch between these stock exchanges using the navigation right below those main four ones. It also gives you an option of Eurobonds exchange, which is great news for all of you who love investing in bonds. What I call the market square of the page is left for the list of our watched investments. Let's choose these most growing ones so that we can see some action here. Boom, they automatically grouped into shares and funds. As you can tell, we haven't got any funds yet. You can see these three dots in the corners. These usually hide more options. Let's see the one of what I call the market square. You can create more lists, view favorites, save your lists and so on. Basically customize this space according to your own needs. The space next to the market square is a more detailed view on the highlighted investment from your list with plenty of options and information as a bonus. Again, hidden behind that group of dots. And finally, next to that, we have our buying and selling options. I must say that I really, really like how Freedom24 explains everything in the question mark bubbles. Also, the order settings are so easy to set. You click on them and if you're interested in setting your stops, so effectively limit your losses by deciding when to sell your investment. It's very straightforward. You choose settings, then enter the price, decide on your expiry term and take the remaining options for margin and one click trade 
and it's done. Trust me, it's not always that easy to do. All right, so let's see what we have below all these. Another navigation bar with positions, trades, orders, risks, chart, news and price alerts. Positions can be grouped and filtered using these options. Trades can be viewed depending on type or trading periods, all controlled by the options in the drop downs here. The same thing with orders. The design is consistent, so you have a good chance of figuring out how to use the platform as you go. The risk tab shows your portfolio valuation and margin requirements. If you're not familiar with the term margin, it's what the rich call debt. If you want it, you need to meet some requirements and so you will see it all here. As I said in the beginning, I'm not interested in trading, so this is pretty useless to me. But still, it's a nice way of showing you how broke or not you potentially are. On to chart, and this is definitely not long-term investors territory, so I won't comment on it, but just point out that it's here. Next, you have news, and I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of this tab being here. There is the news section in the main navigation on top of the page, so it can be slightly confusing. And it's far from inviting, to be honest. Finally, you can create a price alert in the last tab here. When your desired price is reached, you will be sent an email or text message. I think that Freedom24 Terminal can initially look complicated, but in fact, it's pretty straightforward to use. You can see that the design is consistent. Nothing seems hard to find, but let's see it in action and buy some shares. We're still in Europe and let's keep it this way. First, let's decide on our goal. Let's say, let's say we'd like to buy some shares of Unilever. After that, let's buy some SP500. What do you say? Let's check our whereabouts. Europe, shares, the market square. All good. If it were an online store, where would we expect to find a search bar? I'd say the top right corner. Is it there? Yes, it is. It asks us for a ticker, but what if we don't know it? Let's find out. Let's type Unilever. Not bad, found. It's immediately added to the bottom of our list. Now, we know where the buy and sell place is, right where our screen ends and our room starts on the right of our laptop. So let's go there now and place an order. The big green button couldn't be more clear. What kind of price do we want? We're fine with market value. We specify the amount underneath and simply press buy. And it's done. Let's move on to funds. Let's recenter and check our whereabouts. Europe, yes. Funds instead of shares, yes. Let's add the most traded for ease. And Vanguard's SP500 is right on top of the list. I'm okay with this fund, so let's buy some. It's highlighted, so it will be in all three sections of this terminal. And the process is exactly the same as in case of shares. We choose from our options and take advantage of that big green button. Easy. So we've seen the desktop terminal. What's left? Invest ideas. Let's see. These are articles suggesting some interesting things to invest in. They presented with reasoning and analysis behind each suggestion. Quite frankly, even if you're not going to act on them, they're pretty good reads on their own. Now, frequently asked questions, I think we can skip that bit. And finally, the news. These are related to Freedom Finance as a company. Personally, I would hide the news in the footer and make the news concerning investments much more prominent. But hey, maybe it's just me. So, what are my thoughts about Freedom24? It's a very easy to navigate platform. I won't lie, when I initially saw that web terminal, I thought, oh no. But soon realized that it's not complicated or cluttered at all. The definite perks are the D account, as you can easily earn interest on your cash. 
and a decent one too. The access to IPOs is excellent and well presented and fees are also low compared to other brokers. If you want to give it a go, the first month is absolutely free. No monthly fee, no commission fee, no nothing. And if you like it after the first month, the smart plan is also very sensibly priced. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's my first review and walkthrough and I hope to make many more of those in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.